bless you. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Bless you. Thank you. Yes. You'll give me. Okay. Okay. Thank you. We will. Um, you, you have to. Yeah. Good morning and praise the Lord. Amen. In Kenya, we say uh, "Buana asifiwe." Buana asifiwe. Buenos dias a todos. Thank you. Yes. I didn't know I knew that language. So thank you. Thank you. Okay. I just want to really, with the, a lot of humility in my heart, to give thanks to God for the privilege of being here. I really don't take it for granted that I've come to this meeting. It is the doing of the Lord. And I want to give special thanks to my spiritual father, Apostle John Boni, and Mama Carmen, and family. Um, it was a divine appointment that we met. Through my, through my special friend and sister, Apostle Rachel, whom we have been friends with for, I can't remember for how many years, since we were little girls. It's a friendship for over 30, almost 40 years. Not just with her, but also our family of friends. We have walked through many terrains in nations. The Lord has helped us to fight many battles. And the Lord has given us immense victory. We have also got many scars of some of the battles that we have fought. But what is a kingdom child if you have no scars? <laughs> so we carry the scars very proudly. Yeah, I want to share this morning, I have two topics, invading uh, the kingdoms. One is the kingdom of diplomacy. Quiero hablar de dos tópicos en este día concerniente a lo que es el reino y la diplomacia invadiendo and, esa área del mundo. And tomorrow I'll share about invading the kingdom of government. Pero mañana estaremos hablando invadiendo el reino del gobierno. I will not go back, I will not try to get into my background, but I have just two or three things I want to mention before I start. No quiero mencionar mucho de mi propia vida, de mi trasfondo. Because, because when God's hand is on your life, it is up to you to know when God's hand in your, is in your life. A lot of events in your life will be able to tell you that God is working in certain direction in your life. I didn't know for a long time what my calling was. But when uh, the Lord opened my eyes through... Apostle Boni, uh, Apostle Cindy Jacobs, and many others who have laid hands on me, including Apostle Rachel. Pero Dios, eh, a mi vida a de John, Cindy Jacobs, y otras personas. I got to know that my calling was into the nations and invading nations and invading governments. And I saw this way back, I will not go into history, but I remember way back when I was still a young diplomat. Pero yo me recuerdo cuando todavía era yo muy joven y ya estaba funcionando 
en esa área de la diplomacia. I just joined the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Acababa recién de entrar al ministerio de, de al ministerio de Relaciones Exteriores. And within two months, I was told to go to New York. Y en dos meses después de eso me me enviaron a Nueva York. So I was taken to New York during a very difficult time of nations. And I remember that time it was a battle between the Arab nations and the nation of Israel. It was a time when the late Idi Amin was the chair of the African Organization of African Union. So I got into New York with Idi Amin and all the other heads of state. And the battle was to try and get Israel as a nation pushed out of the system. So the Arab countries brought a resolution equating Zionism with racism. Equating Zionism with racism. And I saw racism. And I saw the battle being played on the ground of the General Assembly. And some of the countries that were really pushing for this resolution. To this day, Hasta este día, they are all destabilized nations. Somalia has not recovered. Somalia todavía no se ha And other, other countries in the Middle East have not recovered. Y otros países en el Medio Oeste tampoco se han recuperado. To this day. Because they were the co-sponsors of those resolutions. Porque a raíz de estas soluciones, and that's when I began to understand that when God's hand is upon a nation, don't try to push the hand of God. <laughs> Let God's hand stand. And therefore, when you are invading nations, always make sure you are on the right side of God. <laughs> I learned a great lesson from that meeting. So I'll start my presentation now. And uh, I have very little time, so don't worry if I don't finish the PowerPoint will be given to each and every one of you. My calling is actually from Jeremiah chapter 1. In Jeremiah's chapter 1, yes. we can see it, please. And I remember uh, I was praying this prophetic prayer when I was still in Zimbabwe. Because I lived in Zimbabwe for three years. And I want to encourage Apostle Carlos. Don't worry about Venezuela. We prayed for Zimbabwe for over 20 years. And there is a change now in the government. Yeah, so don't worry. We walk the length and breadth of Zimbabwe. Knowing that President Mugabe had some of the strongest altars in the continent. Occultic and territorial altars. He was sitting on ancient thrones of, of the nation. He had scepters that were really strong. The principalities and powers guarding Zimbabwe is nothing I've seen in other countries. But when you understand your calling in God, you walk into the nation, not in your strength, 
Con la fortaleza de not Dios. in your wisdom, que not in your understanding, que you know the God of heaven is behind you. Yes. Que el Dios de los and as you step usted. on the land, y usted para, you, declare the, declara, you declare the kingship of Jesus upon the land. El reino de sobre esa it might take 20 years, Tal vez va a pasar 20 or even años, 30 years, o tal vez 30 años, but the throne of Christ will stand. Pero el trono de and that's what we've seen. Y eso es lo que vimos we saw it also in Kenya. Lo vimos en Kenya. For years we've had problems during the elections. Por años tuvimos problemas it was en like Kenya a, a, a cycle of bloodshed and violence. Un ciclo de violencia y de sangre. And it was like every five years y parece como que cada we, cinco años, we were just waiting. Now election is coming, the next is bloodshed. Estábamos esperando la próxima elección. Decíamos, ya sabemos, va a haber guerra. Van a haber muertos. But something happened in 2007. Pero en el 2007 sucedió algo diferente. Before then, I was an ambassador in Egypt. Antes de eso, yo era una, la embajadora de Egipto. And I remember we invited one prophet y me que a un to our fellowship a in my house. En mi casa. And he spoke to us y él habló con and prophesied over Africa. Y profe y sobre el Africa. And after the meeting, <laughs> de la reunión, we decided to invite him to Kenya. Decidimos invitarle a Kenya. So he came to Kenya in 2007 Entonces, in March. And then he gave us a prophecy at that time. Y nos dio una en ese and told us in 10 years time, nos dijo, en el periodo de diez años, there'll be serious chaos and bloodshed in the country. Va a haber mucho caos y va a haber mucha sangre derramada en este país. During the elections. Durante las elecciones. But we told him that the cycle of election does not agree with your prophetic word. Pero yo le dije a él, pero es que el ciclo de las elecciones no concuerda be con tu palabra profética. Because we have five year cycle. Porque nos, del ciclo de nosotros de las elecciones and, de cinco años. And our next election is not 2007. 17. It is 2018. But God changed the calendar of the election yeah. halfway. Pero Dios cambió la, esa institución de las elecciones aún antes del tiempo. We had a constitutional change. Ahora tenemos un cambio en la constitución. And adopted a new constitution. Ahora hay una nueva constitución. And the cycle of election dates were changed. Y el ciclo de la elección ha cambiado. So instead of 2018, we had elections in 2017. Así que en lugar del 2018, <laughs> las elecciones fueron en 2017. And everything he had prophesied was coming to pass. Y todo lo que el hermano profetizó, todos so I remember pe people started looking for me. Entonces, empecé a darme que la gente I said, me buscando. you are the one who brought this prophet here in Kenya. You must be able to involve us in an answer. Ahora, tú tienes que in an answer to the problem. So we looked for the prophet because he came with brother Nabil. He is now somewhere in Thailand. We asked him to come back to Kenya. A week before he traveled, he had a heart attack. <laughs> so he was not able to travel to Kenya. So we decided to mobilize teams empezamos a movilizar equipos to begin to do prophetic works around the nation para empezar yeah, yeah, a hacer yeah, yeah, actuaciones yeah, yeah. proféticas en toda and la nación and we went to all the 47 counties y fuimos a todos los condados que son 47 we went to the city center. I remember we used to walk at night. Prophesying over the gates of the land. Telling them that the blood of Jesus is enough. <laughs> A esas puertas que la sangre de Jesucristo we, es más que suficiente. We didn't need any more blood. Que ya no necesitado sangre de nadie más. But the elections came. Las elecciones llegaron. And there was a challenge. Y hubo un reto muy grande. As usual in Kenya. Como siempre en Kenya. So we saw bloodshed almost coming. Vimos que venía ya los ataques, las batallas y la sangre. And some of us, because we have political connections with some of the candidates. Y algunos de nosotros, porque tenía, teníamos esa conexión con algunos de los políticos. We decided to use our political networks <laughs> to bring change into the nation. And it involved a lot of work. Eventually, 
Pero eventualmente, I think 10 days ago, como diez, we had the first ever reconciliation between Raila Odinga and Uhuru Kenyatta. And none of us who are, those of us who are involved in the warfare were not even called to this meeting. <laughs> we, we, we had some congressmen from America here <laughs> who we just saw on television reconciling these two people. <laughs> They shook hands and we, told, we asked God, what about us? <laughs> and God said, some of you plant, somebody will water, and so forth. So we said, Amen. Yeah. <laughs> so I want to encourage you that the Bible says, Today, today, Hoy día, yeah. not tomorrow, no yeah. I have set thee yo te envia, yo te over te the kingdoms. Sobre los reinos. Today, 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 hoy, 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 hoy. you have been set over Dios te ha sobre to los root reinos. out para arrancar, to pull down, para quitar, to throw, para, para bajar, to build, para de edificar, and to plant. Y para plantar. And so start from today. Así que de If you have hoy, not been doing it, si tú no lo has start hecho, from today. Hoy. Because there is, Jesus is not going to come back Jesús no to do the work. Hacer el He finished the work. Ella He is now in heaven, Ella está en on his throne. En su trono. And he has given you an extension of that throne. Y ha dado una to work the works of God yes. Yes. Que here on Dios. earth. Yes. Ahora mismo. So if you have been sitting back Así que si usted está saying I don't have strength, y no tiene fuerza, I cannot make it, que no puedo hacer nada, please por favor, know that, sepa entonces, that this work que este trabajo, and I have it up there, que yo tengo aquí, you have to govern a politically. I, I said govern a politically dije, dije, don't just listen no solo oiga. don't just see no solo mire. but govern Envuélvete. and yes. you can govern with your mouth Tú yes. con the tu words boca. you speak yes. Yes. Las yes. Que yes. are words Son that are recorded in heaven. The earth hears your word. Aquí están las it takes notes of the things you say. And the, the walls have ears. Y la, y, y las, the las plant paredes, have ears. Las paredes tienen oído. Everything has ears. Todo tiene oído. And you are the authority. Y tú eres yes, la yes, so yes. politically, Entonces, politically, embrace spiritual warfare techniques. Tú tienes que empezar a la guerra espiritual con ciertas técnicas. Because there are techniques in the army. Porque los, las técnicas funcionan. If you are going to invade, uh, for instance, Iraq. Si tú vas a invadir a Irak. The weapons you use for Iraq are different from the weapons you use in Syria. Son diferentes las armas que vas a usar para invadir a Siria. So you have to understand. Tienes que entender. The territory that you are going to el fight for. El territorio donde vas a pelear. What are the territorial weapons? ¿Cuáles son las armas de ese territorio? That you are going to use. Que vas a usar. And what are the territorial spirits? ¿Y cuáles son los espíritus You are going to fight. Que tú vas a pelear. And what are the territorial prayers? ¿Y cuáles son las oraciones? You are going to make because it is different from territory to territory yes, yes. from terrain to terrain yes, yes. and from every angle you can fight from the air you can fight from the land you can fight from the waters but you have to understand that your work is to neutralize neutralize first and then control most of the time we want to control before neutralizing. So you neutralize first. You disarm the enemy completely. And then you control. Amen? And then within this, you have to understand that you must have communion with the Lord at the same time. There must be a communion because your instructions come from the throne of God. The throne of God has got mouth. They speak. Words come from there. So tune your ears. You are frequency always to heaven. And then secondly, in the building and planting, know that the world system 
As you were told yesterday, del mundo, it, has got si ayer. it has got systems. Es, hay dos sistemas. When you look at Nebuchadnezzar's kingdom, Cuando tú ves a los reinos, it had systems. Tiene sistemas. And if you want to deal with, the, with, with, with diplomacy and nations, si tú quieres, eh, tratar en la diplomacia the y first en thing you do, lo que haces, dismantle the system. Es, tienes que el dismantle sistema. every system. Because if you don't dismantle, for instance, the, the machine that sends messages you not have done anything so you dismantle the system and then you begin to root out the wrong foundation because sometimes we want to deal with the foundations before dealing with the system so first of all the system and then the wrong foundations Tú tienes que primero tratar con los fundamentos and then y después is when you begin to pull down empiezas a, a bajar a destruir a the, derrocar the faulty models todos los otros modelos because sometimes we pull down the models porque a veces tomamos los modelos before dealing with the foundation antes de tratar con las fundaciones then entonces now you begin to destroy Ahora vas a destruir and influence the wrong ideas las influencias y las ideas equivocadas the battle is in the mind most of the time your mind will tell you tu mente va a decirte, maduro is too strong ya, no, maduro es muy fuerte. he has too many networks tiene mucha gente he's alrededor. sitting on resources Él está, tiene mucha it resources. can't work no puede but trabajar. when you go to heaven Pero cuando vas al you cielo, find maduro is like an ant vas a ver que maduro <laughs> es como una pulga ¿Eh? It's like an ant. Es como una hormiga. So, what do you do with an ant? Entonces, ¿qué haces you don't ahí? even need a foot. <laughs> Just a finger. No necesita, no you understand? Necesita, no necesita Please, Solo un dedito, nada let más. us be transformed in our minds. Que ser tu mente. If your mind is not transformed, si tu mente no es transformada, warfare is difficult. Entonces, no vas a poder hacer Amen. Amen. And then you have to throw down the structures. Ahora las estructuras satánicas tienen que ser destruidas. Jehu dealt with Jezebel. Vimos aquí a Jehu y a Jezabel. Bel and uh, Daniel dealt with Belshazzar, the y king. Daniel peleó con Belshazzar. And Esther had to deal with Haman. Y Esther tuvo que pelear con Haman. And you have to follow the same principles. Tú tienes que seguir los, los mismos principios. Because if you don't follow the same principles, si no you'll find yourself down. Vas a tener mucho problema, After vas a you have done all these things, que hagas todo eso, then build. Pues a construir. Yeah. Build. Construir. And plant. Y plantar. After you build and plant, Vas a construir y plantar. Penetrate with your own people. Vas a penetrar esas Put áreas. your own people in Con place. Tu propia gente. Tu Who propia have got the mind of Christ. Tu propia gente en esas posiciones porque ellos ya tienen la mente de Cristo. And then you can sit. Entonces ya puedes sentarte. And tranquilo. then you can sit. Entonces puedes sentarte. Amen. Amen. Entonces. Okay, let's move, move to the next. Uh, Vamos a mover uh, a la and one thing I just want to tell you, Church, mucha cosa, mucha cosa que is that I have been in the world system all my life. Hemos estado, he, he estado un por I've mucho also tiempo. been in the kingdom of God. The problem we have with the world, with the church, el que con la iglesia, the level of investment and training of our people is almost nil. Because as I'm standing here today, ahora que estoy aquí, I can tell you, yo puedo decirle, the amount of investment the government has put in my training que el, 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 la, la inversión que el gobierno ha puesto en entrenarme a mí runs into millions and bueno, millions of shillings de millones y de millones y millones de dólares I've been trained in security matters yo he sido entrenado para estar de, para hablar de lo que es la seguridad trained to detect security systems para poder detectar sistemas de seguridad as an ambassador como un embajador you enter into a room tú entras a un cuarto within five minutes en cinco minutos you are trained to know exactly what is where in that room tú ya sabes qué es y cuál es y qué cosa hay o no hay en ese cuarto floor, floor, windows, everything el piso, las, las ventanas, las puertas, todo lo demás 
I don't think the church has ever done that. Yo no creo que la iglesia sepa hacer eso. You walk in. Hallelujah. 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 The devil is sitting at the window. Y el diablo está sentado en la ventana. Eventually, hallelujah will die off. <laughs> so, let us begin to invest in training. I've been trained until I tell them I cannot take any more training. I was taken to the government training schools. I was taken to UK training school. I came back again with the security training. Intelligence training. And why all this training? To safeguard the worldly kingdom system. Can you imagine? If they can do that, how much more the church? So I want to encourage the church to begin to train and to equip the church completely. Yeah, so I want to read for you here. When the world is sending me out, this is the kind of letter I get. I will read it in English. Slowly. This is a sample of one I got when I was going to Japan. It says, Daniel Toroitich Arap Moy. Daniel Toroitich. President of the Republic of Kenya. President of the Republic of Kenya. To His Imperial Majesty. A Su Majestad Imperial. Akihito. Akihito. Emperor of Japan. Emperor of Japan. Sendeth greetings. Le envío mis saludos. King James English. Es el es el inglés del del rey. And it says, "Great and good friend, grand and precious amigo, being desirous to maintain without interruption, con el anhelo y el deseo de mantener sin interrupción, the relations of friendship and good understanding, la relación de amistad y de buen entendimiento, which happily exists between our two countries, que existe afortunadamente entre nuestros dos países." I have chosen Mary Odinga. Yo he escogido no, a Mary Odinga. Not I have chosen. No dice no es que yo he escogido. To be the ambassador. Para ser la embajadora. Extraordinary. Es extraordinaria. And plenipotentiary. Y con toda la autoridad. Of the Republic of Kenya to Japan. De la República de Kenya para Japón. Let me stop there a little Déjeme bit. <laughs> When you look at the Great Commission. Cuando usted ve la Gran Comisión. Do you know what it says? Usted sabe lo que dice. I have given you all. <laughs> to do what? Yo os he dado toda autoridad. All. Oh. Toda autoridad. And so the world system. Así que el sistema del mundo. It doesn't give all. Él no da, él extraordinary él no da todo and plenipotentiary sino que da medido, which means lo que significa es, without any interruption yeah. yo recibo sin que nadie me complete authority Con Okay, did you understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. And then it says dice, the personal qualities las cualidades personales of Mary Odinga, de Mary Odinga give me the entire confidence me da toda la confianza that she is eminently worthy que ella es digna of, eminentemente of that office de esta oficina for which she has been chosen por lo cual ella yes, ha sido escogida yes, yes, and yes. that she will discharge y que ella va, tiene la autoridad the de, duties of that office de, de despachar toda, todas las, uh, to, todas las uh, obligaciones in, de esta oficina in such a manner de tal manera as will ensure que asegura your majesties que la aprobación aprobación de su majestad and esteem 
y que toda su confianza en nosotros. I therefore request your majesty Así que yo le pido a su majestad to receive her favorably que la reciba favorablemente and to give her full credence y que le dé completa confianza to what she will say on my behalf wow, wow, wow. por lo que ella va a hablar como palabras que fueran and de on, mis labios on behalf of the republic of kenya de parte de la república de kenya and to the assurances y de las seguridades which i have charged her en que yo le he encargado to convey to you of my best wishes para que después dispensar a ti de mis mejores and those, deseos and those of my government for the prosperity of Japan. Para la de Japón. May, you, may God que el Señor Dios have your majesty tenga su in wise keeping el que lo en su you are a good friend su buen amigo. Moi, president. <laughs> Now, it's not, it's not about this letter. Okay, no es de la carta. I want to challenge all of you this Yo morning. Quiero lanzarle un reto a todos ustedes. What letter has God given you? ¿Qué es la, qué es la carta que Dios te ha dado? What aquí? authority has God given ¿Qué you? ¿Qué autoridad Dios te ha dado? What boundaries have has God put around you? ¿Cuáles son los cuáles son las cuál es la protección que Dios ha puesto alrededor de tu vida? What excuse do we have? Ahora qué excusa tienes ahora? If the world can give this si el mundo puede dar esto, and this one is under the King of Kings. Yes, pero ahora estamos bajo. These two, ellos están bajo el rey de reyes. The, these two leaders are under the King of Kings. Estos dos líderes están bajo el rey de reyes. Remember, the Bible says that nations are like a bucket before the Lord. Sí, la palabra de Dios dice que las naciones dice que están en una cubeta delante de Dios. If the nations are a bucket before the Lord. Ahora si, si ellos son una cubeta delante de Dios. How small are the people? Qué tan pequeña la gente God. delante de Dios. Oh, yeah. Asking you. Te estoy preguntando. ¿Eh? Yeah. And yet, y aún así, between you and I, entre este y yo, we are sitting above these two. Nos estamos sentando yes. with him, yes. delante de él. We are sitting above Akihito, yes. and above Moi. Yes. Yes. Estamos sentados sobre estas dos personas que usted ve aquí descritas. So what's the problem? ¿Cuál es el problema? Why are we sitting like orphans? ¿Por qué estamos sentados? Como Why are we struggling? ¿Por qué tenemos problemas? Why are we praying prayers as if God is not on the throne? ¿Por qué estamos orando como que Dios Why are we struggling with gates? Sentado en el trono. Why are we struggling with identity? ¿Por qué tenemos problemas con asuntos antiguos? Why are we not invading? ¿Por qué no estamos invadiendo? Let me tell you, my brother. Déjeme decirle a mi hermano. When I got this letter, cuando yo recibí esta carta, I told, I told the devil. Yo le dije al diablo. Take your seat. Siéntate ahora. Take your seat. Siéntate ahora. I'm moving in. Yo voy a entrar. Take your seat. Siéntate. Go and talk to Moy. Ve a hablar con Moy. Go and talk to Moy. I am going in. Yo voy a entrar ahora. Oh yes. Yo voy a entrar. Let me tell you. De déjame decir. If there is no kingdom boldness, si no vamos a ser valientes y fuertes en el reino, if there is no kingdom Sacrifice. Si no hay sacrificio del reino, if there is no kingdom death, si no hay muerte del reino, we can't go anywhere. No puede entrar ahí. No es. way. No yeah. va. No. Le if the stomach cannot go without food, si su estómago no puede estar sin comer, if the eyes cannot go without si sleep, si los ojos puede, no puede estar sin dormir, we will not win the battle. Entonces no vamos a ganar la batalla. Let me tell you, de la verdad, yes, yes. brothers and sisters, hermanos y hermanas, invading. Nations. Invadiendo misiones. It's not a walkover. No es fácil. It's not a walkover. Y no es nuestra Because cubierta. these leaders. Estos líderes. Sit on thrones. Se sientan en tronos. Occultic thrones. En tronos ocultos. Occult of the highest order. Del orden más alto. They have scepters. Ellos, ellos tienen autoridad. Powerful fuerte. scepters. Fuerte autoridad. They have garments. 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 Y tienen sus vestimentas especiales. That if you don't have the eyes of si Christ, no tiene los ojos de Cristo, sometimes you don't see them in the spirit. No yeah, lo puede yeah, ver. Yeah, yeah. So wake up. Entonces, yes, yeah. Let's go to. Vamos so uh, with this let with this authority Con esta autoridad, comes. Can you read? You are appointed by the head of state, so this, you are not voted in. Dice, tú, eh, tú eres escogido 
por la, el jefe del estado nadie puede votar por ti you are appointed to represent the state of the, of the kingdom tú está, has sido llamado a representar el estado del reino your commitment is only to the state interest compromiso es solo por el interés del estado yes. you embody the nation or the state of the kingdom representas una nación y el estado del reino you are totally covered by the state está cubierto completamente del estado you are the family responsibility of the state tú, tú y tu familia eres la responsabilidad yeah, del estado yeah, yeah, yeah. I, my children my Mis family Family, houses, everything casa, todo, covered todo, by the government. Yes. The idea is that es, entonces, nothing should worry you nada te tiene de estar when, when you are doing the business. You understand? Negocio. When you are invading, estás when you are signing those agreements for, for trade agreement, eh, contratos para negocios. when you are asking for access cuando estás pidiendo acceso to the resources of Japan para los recursos que están en Japón you should not be worried about what you'll eat no debería estar preocupado por where you'll sleep yeah, dónde yeah. vas a dormir qué voy a comer that is how the world system works así es como funciona el sistema del mundo can we change our own podemos system? cambiar nosotros yes, nuestro yes, sistema yes, entonces yes. the next one la próxima you have immunity tienes inmunidad nobody can arrest you nadie te puede arrestar <laughs> nobody <laughs> nadie <laughs> When they try, Cuando trata, show them the car number. La show them the flag. La show them your ID. La yes, madam, you can pass. Sí. Amen. Yeah. So, Así que, that is the same authority es la misma we have in the kingdom of God. Wake up, brothers and sisters. Despierte, hermano. Let us move. Vamos a en Dios. Next one. You are not supposed to become a citizen of the state where you go <laughs> you understand I cannot become a Japanese citizen <laughs> so when you are in the kingdom of God you have only one visa <laughs> to heaven <laughs> nowhere else <laughs> Amen? Amen. thank you then you can only be recalled by that government or system Solo el sistema que te envió es el que te puede llamar de regreso a la nación. And then you have access to your nation's resources. Y tú tienes acceso a todos los yes. recursos de tu nación. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't speak of your personal position or any issue. Tú no hablas de tu propia posición en cual esta posición de tu propia opinión. You only speak of the nation's position. Solo hablas de la posición de la nación. Your yeah. goal Ahora, tu meta is to influence es influenciar the territory of where you are. Donde yes, estás. Yes. Amen? Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Let's move to the next slide. Let's move. Yes. Let's move. Let's move. I just wanted to show you a bit, a bit of credential because of the time. Solo quería mostrarle un poquito eso okay, let's go. Okay, let's stop here. Vamos a detenernos aquí. We talked about Isaiah 2, 2 yesterday. You have to start from number one. Oh, back to number one. Number one, yes. So, no, oh, this, the, the, okay, where the slides are. We let's go back. Let's go back to the slides. The credentials, I wanted to show the credentials, the pictures. Where the ladies are, but start from number one. Those ones? Yes, but start from number one. Just go, just press. Yes. Now, Ahora. I want to give you an example when you are presenting credentials. Cuando usted está presentando sus this, is, this is me. Esa soy yo ahí. That's Akihito Emperor. Ese es el emperador That's Akihito. the foreign minister. Y ese es el ministro That's de... the uh, whatever, ADC. Este es otra persona In the kingdom de... of the world, en el reino del mundo, when you are presenting credentials, it is an exchange of letters es un intercambio de cartas, allowing you permitiéndote full authority toda completa into the territory. En ese territorio. And this has happened to all the countries I went. Y eso pasa en todos los países donde yo he ido. For the United Nations, para las Naciones Unidas, for Egypt, para Egipto, South Korea, Corea, wherever I was, donde he estado, you, you take your letters. Tú tienes que tomar tus so cartas. you have that equality in the spirit with that man. Con yes. ese hombre. Yeah. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. 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 So, what can man do to you? What can man do to you? ¿Qué te puede hacer un hombre? Apostle Carlos. Apostle Carlos. Please. Por favor. Stand up. Ya, te Fight your battles for that country. Pelea. Esa eh? pelea por todo el país. Amen. 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 Next one. Próximo. Just press. Uh, Just the button. No. Back again. 
Okay, just press up. Uh, Next one. Well, no. I need a Windows person here. <laughs> it was. No, which one? No, just a minute. That one. Just. Um, this, this one? No, okay. yes, let's go back to that. It's number 12, yeah? Yeah. Okay, let's just go back. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm trying. Next one? Yes. Okay, yeah. now, yeah. if you go here. Ah, uh, sideways. Yes. There? Yeah. Okay? Now, bueno, ahora. <laughs> when Elisha and Elijah. Last page. Last oh, last page. Okay. Oh. Okay. In the name of Jesus, it shall work. <laughs> oh. Someone who knows how to use Windows needs to sit here. You know Windows? Somebody who watches Windows. <laughs> okay, go back. Just press the button down. 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 Yes. Down. Yes. Down. down. Up. What about? I really wanted you to see the kind of uh, the kind of authority God has given us. Let's see. Let's go back to eleven. Let's see. Let's go back. Okay. Now don't touch it. It will, it will go. Okay. There. Okay. Now, I want you to see the... Pro oh, yeah. it's yes, it is here. Yeah. I yeah. programmed it that way. Yeah. yeah. Yes. It is moving on its own. This is Egypt. In Egypt. This is, sorry, Tunisia. Tunisia. Inspecting a guard of honor in Tunisia. In Tunisia. In London, Zonders. to Buckingham Palace. In the Palacio. Buckingham Palace. The Palacio, I was still young and very beautiful, don't worry. <laughs> in yeah. Switzerland. People I'm still beautiful. I'm still in Switzerland. In uh, in uh, Eritrea with the president of Fweki, president of Eritrea, with the, Jap with the Korean uh, private sector, Korea, with the Japanese ladies. The ladies Japanese. Yes, mm -hmm. and um, so let's go back to next one now. Okay. Go on, Nigel. Go on, Nigel. I wanted you to show... I wanted you to show us the United Nations because I know there is no time, so I just wanted to look at the structure of the, of, of the UN. Uh, let's see. Uh, I just wanted the structure of the UN. Sorry about this. Uh, I had put... Okay. Just the structure. I wanted. The, I just want to look at a bit of gates. Vamos a ver alguna de las, uh, okay. Let's start from there. Then we'll go down. Okay. So I want us to understand one thing. Quiero, quiero que algo muy that we are dealing with mountains que here. Con aquí. And these mountains. Y esas montañas, those who control these mountains. Que las montañas, they control how people live. Controlan como la gente vive. And so, before you make any invasion, Así que antes de entrar a ninguna invasión, you must secure the mountain. Tiene que asegurarse de las montañas. Because mountains Porque las montañas will determine the policies, van a determinar las policies. will determine the the executive powers, Van a the, judici the judicial powers, poder judicial and the legislative powers. And so I have I've discovered over the years que a de los años that the church que la is very ignorant es muy when it comes to the seat of power of governance. Vemos la, quien está el poder del there is no way no hay you manera. are going to take over the mountain of education before you take over the mountain of government. Because the mountain of government decides how each
be some other stuff. You don't have to rush. Okay. This is very important. Maybe okay. the most important thing here. Yeah, okay. Okay. I've been told not to rush. <laughs> so. <laughs> so. So we will go slowly. <laughs> so uh, let's go back. Let's go back. Let's now let's take the powerpoints then in order. Yes. Because there's a lot of information and there. Information. So let's go back to PowerPoint number two. <coughs> let's start from let's start from here. Okay. okay. Let's start from here. Mm -hmm. One of the reasons um, why it is very important Una that we important. learn to ask questions. Tenemos que aprender a hacer preguntas. You know, the church does not ask questions. La mayoría de la gente en la iglesia no hace preguntas. When I was appointed Cuando a mí me escogieron to the office of the United Nations, a la oficina de las Naciones Unidas, first of all, it was it was a very strange appointment. Fue una forma en que me escogieron un poco extraña. That office previously Esa oficina had been held by two women. Había estado dos mujeres. The first woman was Margaret Kenyatta, La última era María Kenyatta, the daughter of the first president of Kenya. La hija del primer presidente en Kenya. The next appointee to that office La próxima persona was Mrs. Pamela Mboya, Pamela Mboya. the wife of uh, the late Mboya. La esposa del señor Mboya. So when I was appointed to that office, me a esa oficina, I was the first career ambassador, diplomat, yo fui, yo fui la primera de, eh, persona en la diplomacia to be appointed to that office. Que me dieron esa posición sin oficina. And I was given just one sentence y me dieron solo una oración nada más in my appointment. En la, cuando me llamaron. At that time, the United Nations office was being relocated out of Kenya. The developed countries y los países desarrollados had looked at the nation of Kenya. Habían visto la nación de Kenya. There were many issues. Y había muchos problemas. Top of the issues was security. La más difícil fue la seguridad. We had a bad, a bad security record. Teníamos muy mala seguridad. A lot of personas. diplomats were being abducted. Muchos diplo, diplo, eh, muchas personas en la diplomacia estaban siendo they capturados. Are, their houses were being robbed. Sus casas estaban siendo robadas. Some of them were killed. Algunos de ellos los mataron. Because of the level of poverty. Por el nivel de la pobreza. People found it easier. La gente fue fácil to rob robar. diplomats. Y a, a los diplomats. Wow. A los, a los y, they would just stop them. Y después Gunpoint on the road. Give up all your valuables. And that was it. And so the, the, the developed countries decided the best thing is to remove the United Nations office from Kenya and take it to another country. At that time, at the time, time uh, Germany was moving its capital from Bonn to Berlin. The executive director of UNEP, United Nations Environmental Program at that time, was a German national called Dr. Klaus Toffer. And he was a former minister. So he managed to convince all the countries that the, that the best thing to do is to take the United Nations out of Kenya for security concerns and also concurrently the the, con the contributions Las were not coming. No so there were staff members who were not being paid. Entonces, los no se it was like an embargo, era como un embargo to bring the UN on its knees in Kenya, para a las ahí en Kenya. and take it to another country. Así que la a otro país. Now you remember the UN in Kenya <coughs> is the only office in a third world country, in a developing country. And we had campaigned vigorously for it to be 
brought to Kenya. Yes, hubo uh, campaña fuerte para que se trajera obvi a Kenya. For obvious economic, social and political reasons. Pero por razones políticas y económicas. So when it was decided Cuando fue decidido that the office was moving, que la oficina se movía, the UN quickly, through Kofi Annan, formed a what you call a six nation member panel. Las Naciones Unidas llamaron a una reunión especial con seis otras naciones en un panel especial who recommended que recomendaron that its office should move from Kenya. Que su oficina se moviera de Kenya. And our neighboring country Uganda y en nuestro país cercano en Uganda was very happy. Estaba muy feliz. They were in that committee. Para uh, recibirlo. When it reached that state, cuando llegó a ese estado, I was called I was, then I was the director for Asia. Era directora de Asia. I was called, in fact, I, I was called one day, Me un día. and I was told uh, in the next two days, Me dijeron, en los dos días, you are traveling to New York. Vas a viajar a Nueva York. So I asked them to do what? Y dije, ¿Acerque? Eh? ¿Acerque? I am not a UN officer. Yo no soy oficial I am director for Asia. Soy directora en Asia. Why am I going to UN to, to New York? Voy a Nueva Why York? two days notice? ¿Por qué dos días de noticia nada más? I was told there is a problem. Me dijeron hay un problema. How did this the UN office lies in ruins? Porque las Naciones Unidas están ruinas. So you need to go Entonces tienes que ir and ensure y asegurarte that the office does not leave Kenya. No se salga de Kenya. I said what? Y dije, ¿qué? How? ¿Cómo? That was all. Eso fue todo. Head of state instruction. El, el instrucciones desde lo más alto. Make sure the UN does not leave Kenya. Asegúrate que las Naciones Unidas no salgan de Kenya. But I said I'm a bilateral officer. Dice, yo soy un oficial I'm not bilateral. A, I'm not a multilateral officer. Yo no soy un, un, un oficial que tiene más autoridad más allá de eso. Two days? Dos días? How? ¿Cómo? Pack your things and go. Entonces dice, agarra tus cosas y vete. So what I did? Lo que yo hice entonces. Miracle service. Valley Road. I went to church. I went to church. We had a miracle service on Friday morning, every Friday morning. On my stomach. I told God, this God, you see, see, what, see what they are doing to me? They want to sack me. Eh? God, see my situation now. Eh? And I cried before the Lord. And we prayed. And we interceded. And the Lord said, pack your things and go. <laughs> You'll go with me. So I went home, packed my things. Went in, I was given one document. It is called the Istanbul Declaration. So I went to New York. When I got to New York, I was told, okay, additional duties. We want, we want to join the Security Council. Put up a team that will work for that. To cut the whole story short, I decided a few things. What I did was called pastel analysis. Lo que, eh, hice, lo llamé el análisis pastel. And church, listen to this very Iglesia, carefully. Favor, yeah. We don't do any analysis. Nosotros no hacemos ningún análisis. Yes. So what I did, I took the UN lo que hice es que tomé las Naciones Unidas and I decided what de, are the political ramifications decidí, ¿cuáles son las ramificaciones standing políticas? for P. Standing for P. Para es, que, que va a, a, a deletrear la P. What are the economic ramifications? Son las ramificaciones economicas? What is the social implication? Yeah. ¿Cuáles son las, eh, implicaciones sociales? What is the technological implication? ¿Cuáles son las implicaciones tecnológicas? What is the environmental impact? ¿Cuáles son los impactos del medio ambiente? And what are the legal problems that we need to deal with. And I want to tell you, church, until we reach a stage when we can do thorough analysis on issues at stake, we cannot go far. So I brought this before the Lord. Political, Politico, economic, economic, social, social, technological, technology, environmental, el medio ambiente, and legal, legal implications. implications. And the Lord gave me, um, y el Señor me dio entonces, the Lord gave me an idea. Una idea. He said, first of all, 
primer lugar dice choose your weapons eh, escoge yeah, tus yeah, armas yeah, yeah. yes yeah, choose yeah. the weapons escoge yeah. tus armas what weapons are you going to use qué armas vas a usar so the lord said El Señor me dice, get rid of anything echa a un lado todo aquello that will not work for you que no va a funcionar yeah. remember david Saul tried to give David his clothing <laughs> when he was going to war yeah. and David said this will not work for me. And most of the time we don't ask ourselves what are we wearing? Is it working for us? So we need to ask ourselves in the spirit what are you wearing in the spirit? It is very important because when the devil looks at you he looks at your spiritual garment. When God looks at you he looks at the spiritual garment. So Choose what you wear. Así que escoge qué te vas a vestir. Then the next thing, y lo próximo fue, the Lord says, find a weapon dice, encuentra un arma that will be suitable for your warfare que es util, va a ser utilizada para tu guerra. and concentrate on your strength. Y concéntrate en esa fortaleza. Yeah. And then thirdly, Después, número tres, work with weapons trabaja con that armas will defeat your enemy. que va a derrotar al enemigo. David chose five David stones. escogió cinco piedras. What? Uh, weapons are you choosing Ahora, for your country? Yeah, yeah, yeah. For your ministry? Yeah. 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 What, what yeah, yeah, yeah. are you choosing? Yeah. You need to choose the right weapons. And the weapons for each country, for each situation is different. The power of strength you apply on those weapons is different. I think there's a scripture in Isaiah, I think 28 from verse 22 there that talks about weapons to use when you are plowing a field. Yeah, there are some that you will use a sledge there are some you will use something else so you need to choose the weapons that are going to work for each and every kind of seed you are planting in that particular environment amen then it says I like the message uh, translation. Let me just read it. From uh, 2 Corinthians. We talk about the weapons of our warfare. It says, the world is unprincipled. It's, it's a dog, dog eat out there. <laughs> the world does not fight fair. But we don't live to fight our battles that way. Never have, never will. The tools of our trade and for, are not for marketing no es para or manipulation, o manipulación, but they are for demolishing es para de destruir that entirely massively corrupt culture. Yes, cultura yes. Corrupta, masiva. We use our powerful God tools Vamos a usar las armas for, for smashing que nos dio Dios para destruir, what philosophies, para destruir las philosophies tearing barriers erected against the truth of God. Fitting every loose thought <laughs> and emotion and impulse into the structure of life shaped by Christ. Our tools are ready at hand for clearing the ground of every obstruction and building lives of obedience into maturity. That's what the message translation says about 1 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 3 to 6. And we need to remember that. So the next thing you have to remember that God rewards the victor. In Revelation 2.26 the Bible says to the one who is victorious and does my will to the end I will give authority over nations. Israel. It is over nations Israel. Amen? Yes. Amen? So what I want to encourage us work with what is in your hand. Moses had the rod. David had stones and so forth. Because if we don't do this, we are wasting our time. Amen. Amen. Amen.
two, two. Okay, okay, let's go. Next one. I think we've dealt with that one. Okay. Diplomacy, I think uh, we have talked a little bit about that. Yes. So, the next one. I want us to understand that in approaching nations, the first encounter are, are gates. Son las puertas. Yeah, yeah. Gates. Yeah. In my doing the UN work, haciendo trabajo en las Naciones nations, Unidas, nuestras naciones, these are some of the gates I encountered. Esas son algunas de las puertas que yo he encontrado. Wow. First, the Asian gate. La puerta de Asia. The Buddhist gate. Es la la puerta del Buda. If you don't understand what Buddha stands for, si usted no de qué se trata el Buda, forget about defeating de todas las powers cosas. in Asia. Yes. Yes. Son los because that's a philosophy deep-rooted mm -hmm. into the system. Es una que está en el when I was the director for Asia for about three years, fue de Asen por tres años, God gave me the grace. Dios me dio la what I did was I got the name of every head of state of those countries. Yo pude recopilar el nombre de todo cabeza de estado en toda esa nación. And every foreign minister. Y de todos los ministerios del exterior. I wrote them down in my notebook. Los escribí en mi cuaderno. And wherever the spirit of the Lord reminded me. Cada vez que el espíritu me recordaba. I prayed for each one of them. Oraba por cada uno de ellos. Most of the time, la mayoría del tiempo, we don't pray for our leaders. No oramos por los líderes. We are instructed in Estamos Romans 13 to pray for our leaders and in the book of Timothy. Yeah. Because they are government, they are official, their God has appointed yeah. them to those places Dios es que nos ha puesto en esa posición. to govern and also to bring order. Para gobernar y traer orden. So it doesn't matter whether he's worshipping a snake. No importa si está él adorando una serpiente. We're supposed to pray for him. Tenemos que orar por él. Yes. Because he's God minister unto Porque you. Porque él es el ministro de Dios para ti. Do you understand? Entiende, yes. So the church you must have a mind shift. La iglesia tiene que cambiar su mentalidad. We tend to curse. A veces nosotros echamos maldiciones. Instead of bless. En lugar de bendición. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. And then yeah. the gates are closed. Y entonces yeah. las, wow. las puertas And se you cierran. wonder why I am not going through. Mm. Because we've already cast the leader. We have cast the head of state. The gates will not open. Because they have the keys. Because every corridor of power has got somebody who controls the keys. And you need to know who is controlling the corridors of that power. And allow them to open for you. Because not every key opens once. No todas las puertas some se some are tiempo. security locks son that you have to turn seguras. to the left, turn right, <laughs> and up, <laughs> maybe down, <laughs> kick the door. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> so you need to understand. <laughs> the next slide there the is from Thailand. Es de the gates of the snakes. Las puertas es de, de, de la serpiente. I think it guards one of the top temples. Eso es uno de los templos más grandes. Now, in my remember, I was director for Asia. Yo fui directora de Asia. I traveled a lot with my head Yo of state to Asia. Fui a muchas naciones en Asia. I mean, we traveled with President Moi, President to President all those places. Moi, todos los presidentes. So you need to know. Usted necesita saber. What is on those gates? ¿Qué es lo que están en esas do not fear. The Bible says no in Isaiah 41 10, do not fear. Dice, no tenga temor, dice la One of the things I used to do, and Rachel knows, Una de las cosas que hacía, y Rachel lo sabe, before I travel, antes de viajar, I'll go for an overnight. Yo, eh, eh, the whole night, toda la noche, yo, if estaba, the church does not have an overnight, Ahora, si no había, I'll have my own overnight. Yo tenía mi propio tiempo toda Up la noche. to when the sun rises, declaring to the sun. Y hasta cuando se levantaba el sol, las declaraciones. You have risen for me. Tú te has levantado por mí. Rise for me in every way. Levántate de mí. From, from there I drive to the airport. Desde ahí yo manejaba I will puerta. sleep in the plane. Y yo dormía en el avión. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Yeah. yeah. Because most of the time, la del tiempo, a lot of the satanic work, activities start at about midnight, yes. and by three o'clock, 
it is busy. So I would need to neutralize the system up to morning. Yeah, and then the Lord was gracious to me. I traveled first class all the time, so I had no problem. You know? <laughs> yeah. No problem. So give me the blanket, I'll stretch. When the plane is shaking, I said, yes, God, the angels are here. Hallelujah. <laughs> the next one is in India. The triad of the Indian gods. Son los dioses triunitarios. I remember we went to India for the Commonwealth meeting with Fuimos, my head of state. Fuimos a la India para una reunión muy especial. You need to deal with the gates. Tiene que tratar con las puertas. Especially the gates of economy. Especialmente las puertas de la economía. You need yeah. to deal with those gates. Tiene que tratar yes, con yes, esos puertas. Because they have the money. Okay, ellos tienen yeah. el dinero. If you don't take it from them. Si, you, your problem. You si have no, to take it si from no, them. Que I, I don't know how, I don't know the population of Asians in some of the Caribbean and Southern American countries. But watch, watch the trend. And then China, of course, we all know about China. Oh, how we love Chinese food, Chinese, Chinese food. Hi. As you are eating those Chinese uh, spare ribs. <laughs> you are dining with you are dining with the demons <laughs> but don't worry you neutralize them before you get to the game. amen because every food is good for us eh? yes. so neutralize them before you get there the next one is the African gods. I don't think I know of any African leader who does not sit on certain gods. Our friend, the late, uh, the late uh, uh, from South Africa. No, uh, our friend, the lady, the one who passed on. I remember when she came to Kenya. Una mujer que vino a Kenya. She was going to Rwanda. Iba a Uganda. And so she told me that uh, me, me dijo, we needed to pray. There are certain thrones in Congo. Hay ciertos tronos en Congo. And for those of you who are not familiar with Congo, para ustedes que nos tienen, son con Congo, Democratic Republic of Congo. La República Democrática de Congo. I think Congo is one of the richest countries in the world. Congo es uno de los países más ricos de todo el mundo. Just like Venezuela sits on the best oil, the highest number of oil is in Venezuela. Yes, I think, I think, yeah, I think when I was looking at the table of countries with oil, I think Venezuela is one of the top when it comes, when it comes to oil. So Cong Cong Congo sits, River Congo can light half of Africa with hydropower. Coltan, which is used to make, I think, uh, these phones, 98% come from Congo. Congo, we call it a geological scandal. Congo is an area geological Muy rica. It's like God Scandal. put every resource in that country. From water, de agua, gas, el, el gas, petroleum, petroleum diamonds, de, nickel, platinum, nickel, platino, uranium, uranium, coltan, everything coltan, you find in Congo. Lo en el Congo. But Congo has not seen peace for Pero over Congo 50 years. No yeah. The, one of the poorest countries, the lowest GDP in the world is Congo. Why? Thrones at the gates. The next one is Japan. You know that very well that Japanese regard uh, their emperor as a sun god. Look at the flag of Japan is the is the sun. Yeah. Si usted ve la, la, la de Japón, tiene el sol. 
So the Japanese worship the sun Ellos god Des. Al, al Dios y al hijo del Dios. Amaretas. So you need to Necesita understand entender, entonces, as you enter that gate. Entra esa puerta, as you are going, you are greeting the leaders. Usted va a you are, a los you are, líderes, sometimes you might be shaking the hands with the sun. Vez está to, eh, la mano de lo, del sol, the Bible del says sol the, Dios. the sun shall not smite you by day. So you need to understand that. Así que tiene que eso. The next one the is... Uh, uh, the Baphomet, mm -hmm. this one here. Baphomet. Baphomet. Yeah. It's a very high level. I think you, uh, you, yes, now I see you have got a structure yeah. Yeah. somewhere for it. Yo creo que hay algunas estructuras yeah. en Estados Unidos que muestran esto. I think it came. Was it last year? The That's year before the last? Year before. The year before. El año pasado. Yeah, I think. Un año antes. And you can see it is a five-pointed star. Es una estrella de cinco puntas. It's called the goat head. The goat head. Eso the se goat le llama. Head. Dice the la, goat head. Goat. La, la, G O A T. La, la cabeza de la cabra. It controls. Y controla. Almost everything. Casi todo. You know, you might be celebrating a, a new dawn. The Bible says you will deceive the very elect. Be very careful. The next thing is the Egyptian eye. The Egyptian eye on every Egyptian plane flying. This is Farag. You have noticed your aeroplane. This is sus aviones. It has got all those. Tiene todos esos ojos. So every time you are flying through the air, Cada vez que usted está en el aire, you are actually flying with those está con esos and If you look at it carefully, it has got the, this is the serpent head that comes on the head of the pharaoh. Dice la you have Isis there, Isis, then you have all Isis. those, and all that kind of thing. This is, you have to contend. Y hay que con todos estos. And I remember when I was in Egypt, en Egipto, or one of the things, I remember, cosas, to be able to overcome. Para poder the creer. first day I entered Egypt, I arrived from London. El primer día que llegué a Egipto, de Londres, I stayed in a hotel by the Nile. En una, en hotel al, Six in Mil. the morning I woke up. Desperté. I was fasting. Estaba en ayuno. I woke up in the morning en la to walk the length and breadth of the Nile para poder caminar, barefoot para caminar de espacio to en take el río over Nile. the gods of the land. After that I flew to Aswan. De eso, eh, volé a Aswan. Spent three days Tres días ahí. bringing repentance on Trayendo behalf of my tribe. Because Rachel tribu. knows we actually migrated from Egypt coming to Kenya. So I went to the museum and I saw a lot of cultural things that I was very familiar with. So I was able to spend three days every morning by the Nile bringing the repentance and telling God I'm here and telling the devil look I have come. So every record you have on me please nullify, cancel everything. Three days later I flew back to Cairo. I got an appointment to see the president. <laughs> the next one is the New World Order. You can see that the Freemason, perpetual eyes which never sleeps, sees everything. And the church, while you are sleeping, they plant pears. Where your wheat is, donde está su semilla, ellos ponen la de ellos. Never sleeps. Nunca duerme. The next one is the Kaaba stone. El próximo es la, en Mecca. La, 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 la piedra negra en el Mecca. The, the window, the Arab window. Esa es la ventana. Never del sleeps. Arab. También nunca duerme. La, last year we had issues in Kenya. La última vez que tuvimos problemas en Kenya. Because we have a liberal policy now. Tenemos ahora una policía muy liberal. The pre our president decided to join the Organization of Islamic States. Nuestro presidente as, ahora dice que quiere observer estar status. con los uh, países islámicos. And so they decided to bring in what we call the finance bill. Así que ellos decidieron traer 
that was going to align everything to the halal system. I was asked to go and to prepare prayer points, which I, which I did for the parliamentary team. Unfortunately for us, the Christian team in parliament had already been given something to eat. <laughs> so they went ahead and gazetted the finance bill. But we saw it before it came. That's why I'm telling you the church. Please train your people. Make sure that you read those fine lines in some of these parliamentary proceedings. There's a lot of things are hidden. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So we'll stop there. We take a 15 minute okay. break and then you come back. Okay. You need to get off your feet for Okay. Okay, so we'll guess the next slide and then we'll stop. La próxima cosa y después detenemos. Yes. Okay. So before we go for the break, Antes de terminar esto, as we go out, cuando salgamos I want you to do a self audit. Quiero que usted eh, haga un examen. It was very important for me to do a self-audit in my work because I realized that God had said, ask of me and I will give you nations for your inheritance and the ends of the earth. So I had to do a self-audit. Am I worthy? Am I worthy of the calling that God has given me? Then I asked myself, is it a ministry of leadership este es un ministerio de liderazgo and governmental grace. Y de gracia gubernamental. Because remember Isaiah 9, 6. Isaiah, the Isaiah government dice, is on our shoulders. The burden of the Lord is on us. De que la de Dios so es I had to ask myself. What, then, what I did was to cultivate my emotional intelligence. Because <laughs> yeah. intelligence is not wisdom. Most of us are very intelligent, but we are not wise. <laughs> so I had to ask myself that. Then I also realized that wherever I am, it is not my vineyard. I'm just a steward. It's the vineyard of the master. And Isaiah 5, I think from verse 1, tells me that he has set me as a beloved vineyard. And even put a tower and a covering over me. So I had to ask myself, am I a watchman worthy of the calling that God has put in my life? Yeah. Next thing, I realize that I've been given talents. Am I going to take one or two or five or ten? It depends. Am I greedy? Am I gluttonous? Because if I am, I'm not worthy of those talents. And then he said, occupy till I come. It's not a request. It's an instruction that God has given us. The next one, I have to sit in the secret place and submit myself for evaluation. How am I being evaluated in the secret place? Because the Bible says those who abide in the Lord shall abide in the secret place. In your secret place, what kind of evaluation is going on in your life? The next thing I realize, I cannot afford to boast. Paul says, 
Pablo dice, we, however, will not boast beyond our proper limits. Que no podemos creer que somos más de nuestros propios limites. But we will con confine our boasting to the field the Lord has assigned sino us. Sino que nuestra autoridad está confinada al lugar donde so Dios nos ha asignado. So your boasting must be in the field where God has assigned Así you. Así que donde Dios le ha puesto, ahí Amen. es donde usted puede Amen. estimarse a sí mismo. Then my mind really has to be Entonces, sincere. Mi mente tiene que ser sin, sincera. I have to act out of a pure conscience. Tengo que actuar con conciencia pura. Because if I don't, porque si no, everything I do, todo lo que hago, is subject to fire. Va a, a, va a estar sujeto I must a have clean hands. Tengo que tener manos limpias. Psalms 24 says, "Who can ascend in the hill Entonces, of the Lord? He who va, has a pure heart and puro, clean hands." Y, are my hands clean? What have I signed? What have I handled? How have I handled them? So I must look at my hands and see if really I'm worthy of the master's touch. The next thing, you cannot commit yourself to elevation. We must, we must commit to moral excellence. The big thing is to sit down count the cost. Amen? The next thing is whatever to begin Si vas a empezar algo, we must finish. Que Most of us begin. La mucho de we don't finish. Pero no we must begin que and finish. Then next to establish your intentions, su count the emotional cost of your dream, el el costo explore your opportunities. Y ver las How much do you pray? And how do you pray? Y cómo ora? And what do you pray? ¿Qué es lo que ora? It's very important. Es muy Understand the various leadings and know that a season has come Yo sé que el tiempo ha to accomplish. Para a cabo. We are donkeys. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> the, ma the master <laughs> must ride on our back. Because he's going, to, he's going to Jerusalem to take a new season. And we must, we must allow him to carry him. Because carrying him means we are carrying his burden. And his burden is the kingdom of God el, has come. Y, y su, y su Amen.